media colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to this uh, press conference as we get ready to kick off the Cayman Airways Invitational Youth Football Cup, which starts Tuesday, that's tomorrow, at the Truman Bodden Sports Complex. We'll get into some of the details of the tournament in just a bit, but I'd like to introduce you quickly to the members of the head table from the West Bay Sports Foundation, which is organizing the tournament. We have Mr. Klein Glidden. Next to him, we have Mr. Paul Tibbetts. He's the Executive Vice President and CFO at our title sponsor, Cayman Airways Limited. Next to him, we have Mr. Joseph Hugh. He's a counselor in the Ministry of District Administration, Tourism and Transport, which has very generously endorsed this event. Also endorsing this event is the Ministry of Community Affairs, Youth and Sports, represented by the Assistant Chief Officer, Mr. Joel Francis. From the Cayman Islands Football Association, we have Acting President, Mr. Bruce Blake. And the feature team in this tournament this year is the Manchester City Football Club out of England, represented at the head table by Mr. John Mullen. He's the head coach of the squad that's here on Ireland for the tournament. Now, I know a number of teams have come in already, and a number of them are coming in today ahead of kickoff tomorrow. Uh, what I'll do, I'll first ask Mr. Glidden if he could give some opening remarks on behalf of the foundation. Thanks so much, Mr. Mead. Uh, just just want to say um, welcome, first of all, to, to Manchester City and all the other teams that have, have so far arrived and those that are, that are traveling in. But also, um, just want to thank the, the government specifically um, and Cayman Airways um, specific for the generous support that they've given to to this this tournament um, you know having having the likes of Manchester City here is is a dream come through for for a lot of us and especially at the best Bay sports foundation we think that opportunities that will be provided by having a team of the caliber of Manchester City will only bode well for for Cayman and the work that the government is doing in regards to sports tourism and so we want to thank all of those that have made this happen and specifically again express our appreciation to Cayman Airways and the the government of the Cayman Islands both the Ministry of Tourism the Ministry of Sports um, and just thank Manchester City for for um, joining us and we look forward to a continued long-term partnership and the benefits that the mutual benefits that that will bring to to the Cayman Islands as well to from like I say from a sporting standpoint as well as to hopefully Manchester City um, Speaking to some of the members, I, I understand that they already got up this morning and, and enjoyed our beautiful, wonderful, warm waters. And hopefully that will you know, make the impression on them that will make them want to come back very frequently and bring their families and friends back as well. If we could have Mr. Tibbetts. Well, good morning. Uh, Cayman Airways is thrilled to once again be the title sponsor of the Cayman Airways Invitational Under-15 Youth Football Cup for the third year running. The National Airline is committed to helping Cayman's youth excel, and sports tournaments of this caliber are an important way in which young people can develop their talents on the field, while at the same time grow as individuals off the field. We know that tournaments such as the Cayman, Air Cayman Airways Invitational Youth Cup, aimed specifically at the under-15s, will go a long way in helping our players to develop important skills, which can then carry and nurture them all the way through to adulthood. By exposing our young Caymanians to their peers from other countries, we anticipate that they will develop important ties and friendships with their fellow players from abroad, learning new skills and tactics while sharing experiences and their cultures that will ultimately serve to enrich them both as players and as individuals. We believe that the breadth of knowledge that our youngsters will develop from such exposure is crucial if they want to broaden their horizons and excel in their chosen sport. International sports tournaments of this high caliber are not only possibly life-changing events for the players who take part, we believe they're also a, a key part in enhancing Cayman's overall economy when it comes to developing our nation. Sports tourism has been steadily growing in our islands with world-class events such as the Norseca Beach Volleyball Tournament that was recently held, the upcoming Cayman Invitational Track Meet, and of course the Cayman Airways Youth Cup, amongst others. As the quality and international publicity of these Cayman-based events grows, it builds a nation's credibility as a center for excellence in sporting. And Cayman Airways is in a unique position to be able to support and at times drive 
development of sports here in Cayman, and we take this role very seriously. Through our involvement, we're able to provide tremendously to the development of our youth and our local community while at the same time achieving the economic benefits that come from international exposure and incremental visitation. We are proud to be able to fly many, in fact most of the international teams taking part in the Cayman Airways Youth Cup to the Cayman Islands in order to compete and we are very much looking forward to showing the teams our famous Caymanian hospitality while on board our aircraft and to be the first to welcome them to the Cayman Islands. There is no doubt that this prestigious and exciting football tournament will be every bit as exciting to watch as it will be for the players to participate. We look forward to the tournament at, with great anticipation and we know that each and every team will do their home country and the sport in general extremely proud. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tibbetts. I invite uh, Mr. Hugh. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Let me first uh, offer apologies for uh, Minister Bodden and uh, Minister Kukarno, Deputy Premier Kukarno, who are both attending um, events in their constituencies and ministers in Iraq, and Minister Bodden had to attend the commitment in Bodden Town. Otherwise, they would have, have definitely been here. Once again, we are uh, pleased to host, to be the host country for this, the third annual Cayman Airways Invitational Youth Football Cup, which kicks off tomorrow. On behalf of our ministries of tourism and transport, we are excited to welcome the talented players from the UK, United States, Cuba, Honduras, Jamaica, all who will play alongside our very own on the 15 national squad. For our young players here at home, this tournament is a bit of a dream come true because it provides the opportunity to put their skills to the test against top international teams and as we heard um, in particular against the recently crowned under 15 champions from England, Manchester City. I'd like to also say personal welcome to John and, and the others that are here with us and um, we hope you will enjoy some warm Kim and kind while you're here. Sports tourism is an essential niche market within our island's diverse tourism portfolio, and hosting events like the Cayman Airways International Invitational Youth Cup delivers a positive economic impact on many levels. For example, each of the visiting teams will include the players, officials, and some parents, which will boost stay over arrivals at a time when our seasonal visitations would typi typically begin to slow. Over the short term, this increase in visitors drives a correspondence increase, corresponding increase in the demands for services and is beneficial and will be beneficial to a wide range of businesses such as hotels, restaurants, transportation, and car hire services. Events like this are an important part of the government's sports tourism initiative, which is why it received widespread support from both the tourism, Ministry of Tourism and the Ministry of Sports. As we know, sports tourism is, rapidly is a rapidly growing sector of the industry, and over the long term, the prestige of hosting these types of tournaments on our shores will help to build awareness of the Cayman Islands as a sports tourism destination. Events like this will also help to increase our brand awareness among potential travelers, which in turn helps to drive visitation to our islands. This event would not be possible without the many helping hands, and I'd like to extend my personal thanks to the West Bay Sports Foundation for organizing this tournament, and I gratefully recognize and acknowledge the extensive list of sponsors that have generously stepped up and helped contribute to the hosting of this event. Finally, I would like to acknowledge all the volunteers, parents, coaches, fans, and spectators who come together to make this an incredible event year over year. I'm confident that as spectators, we will be treated to an impressive display of talent and intense excitement over the course of the entire week. I will encourage everyone to come out and cheer on our visiting teams, but especially to support our young men who have been working very hard in preparation for this tournament. I wish the tournament organizers success, to the officials fair play, and to the players, may you have a safe tournament. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Hugh. I'll just go straight ahead to Mr. Francis from the Ministry of Community Affairs, Youth and Sports. Thank you, Ben. Uh, the Ministry is happy to be able to support this tournament for a number of reasons, uh, some of which have been highlighted already. Uh, Cayman faces a significant challenge in funding adequate competition at different stages of the athlete development process. 
It costs upwards of $25,000 to send a team of about 16 athletes with a small team of officials overseas for about three or four days. And so when the opportunity arose to have such a high quality level of competition on local soil that the entire community could take part in, the ministry decided that it would, su would support this tournament. Football is one of those special sports, especially in the Cayman context, that it is played by the widest range of the community, and many would remember the coming together behind the Cayman team at the inaugural CONCACAF Under-15 tournament several years ago. Uh, there was certainly a magic in having the stadium filled with a wide cross-section of the Cayman population supporting a local team, and that bodes well for community development. A key part of sports development is the development of uh, relationships, and while the benefits are difficult to measure, the ministry was pleased to see that the Sports Foundation of West Bay was able to pull together such a varied set of teams from throughout the CONCACAF region and as far afield as England. This invariably provides opportunity for the development of new relationships and the strengthening of old ones and can result in other development opportunities as noted earlier, not just for sports but for the wider community as well. And so on behalf of the Minister of Sports, the Honorable Osborne Baden, we welcome the teams from abroad and congratulate the West Bay Sports Foundation on its effort to develop a quality under-15 tournament for the local sports calendar. Thank you very much, Mr. Francis. Now, football in the Cayman Islands comes under the umbrella of the Cayman Islands Football Association, so I'd welcome Acting President Bruce Blake to give a few comments. Hi, good morning, everyone. As you've heard, this is a tremendous opportunity for our local teams, and um, you know we wish them all the best. Um, I'd like to also express um, great thanks to the West Bay Sports Foundation for organizing such a tournament. As you know, it's always good when private enterprises get involved and organize these types of tournaments and not rely on the association to do so. And you know, you've heard from the other speakers the benefits um, to the island of such a tournament. But I'd like to also, you know, expand on that is that it isn't only a benefit for our local players. Um, but it's also, you know, a benefit for our local coaches, our local administrators. Um, what I've asked the organizers to do is to see if they can have our local coaches and our local administrators, you know, meet the teams, get involved with the teams, see how they practice, see how they organize. As you know, 80% of, you know, the preparation of for any matches done off the field, whether it's training, whether it's, you know, in, in the classroom, you know, whether it's in, in, in the organizational meetings, and I think this is something that we have to take away from these tournaments, not only what happens on the field, but what happens off the field. You know, preparation is the key um, for, for, for any team. But in addition to, you know, the, the experience from, of our players and our coaches, there's also an added component. You know, we have um, referees that, you know, these tournaments would be their first experience with international tournaments. So we get them to have um, experience of, of, of officiating um, these kinds of tournaments and it helps them in their, in their progression. And also, you know, we assign, we assign match commissioners to these events. And, you know, for, for our referees and our match commissioners, you know, for some of them, this would be their first time, um, you know, officiating and, and, and managing a, an international tournament. So it isn't only our players that receive experience from these types of tournaments, but, you know, we have our, you know, our coaches, our managers, our referees, our match commissioners, our general coordinators. So there's a, there's a bigger benefit to, to, to football in the Cayman Islands from hosting these types of tournaments. And, you know, I'd like to thank um, Cayman Airways and the Ministry of Tourism and the Ministry of Sports um, for stepping forward. Because as you know, you know, it's these kinds of commitments and these kinds of sponsors that allow, you know, these kinds of tournaments to, to happen uh, um, on our soil. And I think, I think it'll be a benefit not only from a sports, for instance, sports tourism standpoint, but also from a footballing standpoint, not only for our players, but our coaches, our referees, and our officials. And once again, you know, I'd like to thank the local organizers. I'd like to thank um, our guests um, from overseas because we need these type of um, competitions to, to improve our level on island. So once again, I thank you and have a good day. Thank you very much, Mr. Blake. Now, before we get to our next speaker on the podium, he represents Manchester City FC. Now, they are one of the teams whose names easily recognizable. Uh, just to let you know a bit more about the teams who are coming. Grouped in the first group 
with Manchester City, we have representatives from two major league soccer franchises, the academies in the United States, in the form of DC United and Houston Dynamo, who will be taking part as well. We're pleased to announce that the Cuba Federation National Under-15 team, they will be in Group A with those other teams. In Group B, we will have IMG Academy. They're based in Tampa, Florida. You have another Major League Soccer franchise, Seattle Sounders FC. Out of Honduras, we have Club Deportivo Victoria. And from the Cayman Islands, we have Academy Sports Club Select Team, which will be participating in Group B. In Group C, we have Orlando City FC, another Major League Soccer franchise from the UK, uh, making a return trip to the Cayman Islands. We have Swindon Town FC, another Major League Soccer team in LA Galaxy. And from Jamaica, we have Cavalier Soccer Club. They'll be coming. So I will now ask Mr. John Mullen. He's the head coach of the Manchester City side that's visiting. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd firstly like to say it's I could get used to waking up on this island uh, every morning. Sli slightly better climate than what we have in Manchester. Um, no, I'd just, just like to uh, say thank you to, to, to everyone here at Cayman uh, that have given us such a, a warm wel welcome uh, since ever since we stepped off the plane yesterday and just say how thankful we are to be invited to participate in this, in this tournament. Uh, I think from from our point of view, we see it as a huge benefit uh, for our players to come and play in these international tournaments and pit their wits against uh, players from more, you know, different parts of the world that, uh, that that you know they're not used to playing against. Um, I know they really look forward to the tournaments, and I think it's great for for the development, uh, not just from a football point of view, but also culturally uh, for them to you know, to visit different parts of the world. And uh, I must say, it's, it's my first time being here and it's uh, for the majority of the staff and players, it's, it's the same. And, you know, we're so impressed with what, a, what such a beautiful island is. Uh, but, you know, I think hopefully we, we can develop a, a relationship. It's good for us as well to, uh, to look at players in the, in the, in the other teams. Uh, you know we're obviously big on global recruitment, so it's it's you know it's a good opportunity uh, for perhaps you know some of the local teams and some of the uh, players in them sides to to show what they can do, and uh, we're looking forward to to building you know a good relationship with uh, you know with the Cayman in the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Mullen, and I should point out that this goes beyond the tournament. Uh, Further details about a camp focused on young ladies under the age of 15. Uh, I think Mr. Mullen and his colleagues will be conducting that alongside Cayman Islands professional player Naoki Montoya from overseas. That will take place, have we settled the date on Saturday morning? Saturday morning, yeah. Uh, that's going to be happening at Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Media invites will be sent out for those of you who do want to cover it. As well, we do have a number of school visits with some of the participating teams. We do know on Wednesday, uh, Cayman International School will be having a visit. Uh, Cayman Prep and High School will be having a visit as well. John Gray will be having a visit. St. Ignatius will as well. And different teams will be going there again. Media, you'll be invited to that as well. I would like to take the opportunity now to ask members of the media if they have questions for anybody of the panel uh, to feel free. Uh, you can take the mic from me, I'll bring it to you, and pass it around. Introduce yourself and the media house you're representing. Uh, let's try to keep this focused on the tournament, activities around the tournament, sports development in the Cayman Islands, and sports tourism. Thank you. Any questions? Hey, good morning, guys. It's Kevin Morales with Cayman 27. Um, John, you touched on it just at the end there. Um, obviously, you're coming here to, to play football, and you have uh, uh, a, a goal that you've set for your team at the end of this. But how often do you get to look at some of the other players and the other teams uh, for scouting, recruiting purposes? And how big of a role does that play in your trip here? Well, it's, it's, it's always part of an objective when we come to tournaments. Uh, 
not just to see how good our players are against others, but also you know, you know, watch watch other teams as much as we can, because um, because it is a a chance for as a recruiting tool, you know, to scout these players, you know, and they tend to be obviously the best players from from different parts of the world. So, yeah, it's it's it's, it's really important, and we you know we, and we that's why we bring some other staff members and, and and get as many eyes as we can on on other other games that are going on. Uh, and I'll, I'll just move down the line too. Uh, Mr. Blake, uh, you had talked about um, everybody benefits from these types of things, uh, administrators, referees, et cetera. Um, are there any, uh, I guess, positions or people in particular on island that you would hope would benefit the most from these kind of things, whether it be you know, the referees or, you know, like you said, uh, match officials? I, I, I don't know, anybody in particular that you, you hope get, really gain something from this? I think if if I had to name two, it would be the coaches and the referees. Um, the coaches from the standpoint of seeing what goes on behind the scenes. You know, I would I really love for, you know, three or four of our coaches to be able to sit down in a man city session in the morning and see, you know, how they conduct their meetings, you know, their goalkeeper meetings, their team meetings, their strategy meetings. Um, and as you know, uh, you know, in, in preparation for these for these kinds of tournaments, a team can have up to five or six different meetings a day, and also you know, see what they do in in preparation for a match, how they analyze a match, what they do after a match, how they break down their video, what they focus on. I think it's it's these kinds of things that our local coaches have to focus on. It the the, the preparation is like I said, eighty percent of 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 you know of, of the team preparation, and. You know, we tend to focus too much on, you know, game day, but the focus should be on, you know, the six days before game day and, and, and the preseason. And I would like to get our, our, our local coaches to understand that. And the only how you can truly understand it is by seeing what other people do and, 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 and experiencing that. Yes, it's always good to have courses and get certificates and all that, but it's the practical side of it that, that we're missing here. and. Apart from the coaches, would be the referees, of course. As you know, um, you know we're we're always working on the advancement of our referees, and you know it's good to to ref in your domestic league, but it's also you know getting that experience of international tournaments. It's just a different level, you know, a different requirement. As you know, here we play our football is a lot slower than you know a lot of places in the rest of the world. So I think this tournament will give them, you know an idea of you know a different style different level of football and how you know fit and everything they have to be to keep up with the play so i think it'll be a challenge for some of our referees but you know i think it'll be a good um item in their learning process and uh just to follow up it will be all local referees who will be working the matches is yes it'll be all local referees okay perfect uh, my last question is for mr francis and mr hugh you talked about our government support are, are you each able to say specifically how much each uh ministry is is funding this tournament or supporting this tournament I prefer to send that to them um, we, we can we can send you the information together okay um, all right at, at a later stage if that's acceptable okay thank you yeah. any other questions Hi, I work at Cayman 27 as well. Um, you obviously come into the tournaments as favourites, Manchester City, but after what we've seen in the Premier League this season, that kind of means nothing, does it? And <laughs> do you think that what are the chances of Cayman doing a Leicester? You never know, do you? I mean, it's like I say, this is this is one of the things we're looking forward to, really. You know, seeing it's a relatively unknown for us to come in and and and, and see the you know the standard of the teams and. The, and the level, uh, but I'm, we're expecting a very competitive tournament. I'm, I'm sure it will be. Uh, but you know, it does happen. Uh, you know, as much as we would have loved uh, City to win the, the Premier League this year, you know, a lot of people see it as quite refreshing that, that a team like Leicester can t t can do, go and do it. You know, and, and they've they've set a benchmark. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it was touched on earlier. Preparation's key. So. You've got to go into every tournament fully prepared. It doesn't matter how much ability you've got. You've got to do things right. And uh, and if we might go into it as favourites, but if, we, if we're not professional and in our preparation and our approach, we won't win it. So you know that's what that's one thing that we always demand of the players.
Okay, finally, you, you've seen a lot of young kids come through the ranks at Manchester City, and let's be honest, most of them don't make it as Premier League professional footballers. What, what advice would you give to a, a young Kamanian kid who thinks he's got something, some talent about him, and, and what should he do if he wants to make the big time? Uh, believe in himself. Uh, work as hard as he can. And, and never give up on a dream. And, you know, I think I'm a believer that if, if you really want to do something... You know, there's n there's nothing to stop you you d you doing it. Uh, so uh, that you know, they're they're the key things I'd say. But a belief and a, and a work ethic, uh, because like Leicester have proved that that, that can take you a long way. Uh, you know, so that that'd be the advice I'd give to any 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 young boy with a with a dream to play football that it's achievable. Thanks. Before we go, uh, let me just remind you, the tournament kicks off on Tuesday. Now, on Tuesday, we have a packed uh, slate of matches at the Truman Borden Sports Complex. Starting at 2 o'clock, Seattle Sounders versus IMG Academy. Then we have Orlando City versus Swindon Town FC at 3.30, followed by Houston Dynamo versus Cuba Federation. That match is at 5. Manchester City versus DC United is at 6.30. Then you have LA Galaxy versus Cavalier Soccer Club at 8 o'clock. All games on Tuesday are at the Truman Warden Sports Complex. Then we move into West Bay at the Edwards Stadium uh, for the matches for the remainder of the week, starting at 2 o'clock as well on Wednesday. Those of you who'd be interested, particularly in the local side, uh, at the Academy Sports Club Select Team, they kick off on Wednesday at 6.30 against Club Deportivo from Honduras uh, at Edward Stadium. So I just wanted to point that out to you as well and take this opportunity to thank all of those involved in uh, bringing this event off. A long list of sponsors, I won't uh, name all of them now, but I certainly do want to thank Cayman Airways Limited, the title sponsor for readily jumping on board as well as the ministries of district administration, trans tourism and transport, as well as youth, community affairs and sports. Va very valuable having them. I want to thank all of the participants at the head table today uh, for taking time out and joining us. And I'm hoping everybody does take some time out to come on down and enjoy some football. Very reasonably priced, $8 if you are a little older than 11 years old. Under that, it's only $2 for you. Lots of good, high quality football. So please ensure you come on out. Those of you who made it out today, I want to thank you very much for being here. Thank you. <laughs>